Hello and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to be looking at a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com under the topic electric circuits and the title is series circuits v equals i times r uh, calculations. In other words, Ohm's law calculations. So let's take a look at some of the stuff we have to know. First of all, for a series circuit, it's essential to remember that the current is the same everywhere. This makes a couple of the columns in um, uh, some of the, the levels very easy. Remember, no matter where you are in a circuit, um, the current's the same because whatever comes into a point has to leave that point. Otherwise, you get a buildup of charge, the big problem. So current must be the same everywhere. Next thing, remember that the equivalent resistance in a series circuit is the re different resistors added together. If there's three of them, you add them all up. In this one, there's only two. Uh, and so you just add the two of them up to get the equivalent resistance. Finally, what is Ohm's law? It's that the voltage equals the current times the resistance. If we divide both sides by R, we see that the current equals the voltage divided by the resistance, which is perhaps the most conceptually accurate way to look at it. Um, but if you divide both sides by I, you get R equals V over I. So any of those might be important at any given time, depending on which of those we are solving for. We're going to go through each of the three different uh, types of charts just to uh, make it very clear for those of you that are struggling to get the basic done, how to get that done. And those of you that are ready for the wizard level, um, I'll try and remember to put the time code down on the bottom so you can jump to that point if that's what you need help with. All right, so here is the apprentice level. So we're going to go through and do three of the rows. I'll leave some of the rest for you to puzzle out yourself. And of course, your numbers will be different. But we'll do those three rows. That way it gives you, you know, one that has voltage and resistance. We don't need to do two that have voltage and resistance because you already have an example. One that has resistance and current and one that has voltage and current. OK, um, so first of all, remember that the current is the same everywhere. OK, so if once we know the current, we can go or the current at one place, like here we know the current at A, well, then we know the current at B because it's the same everywhere. So this one's two, this is 0 0.5, and this is 1.5, OK, because it's the same at each place. So um, if you didn't understand what was going on here, we're assuming that this circuit here um, could be this circuit, circuit A, could be circuit B, could be circuit C, et cetera. All right, so let's go through and start with A here and work our way through. So here we see we're given the voltage and the resistance and we're looking for current. So if we pop back to our other page here, if we've got the current, this is the equation we want to use. So we'll write that down, I equals V over R. We'll plug in our values. V is 36 volts. R is 9 ohms. And 36 divided by 9 is 4 amps. OK, so we'd write 4 amps and 4 amps. Although uh, it says amps up here, so we'll actually not write amps. We'll just write 4, because when it's up at the top there, it's telling you what it is for every number, telling you the units for every number. So we have included our units. All right, let's go on to number C, letter C or circuit C here. So circuit C, we've got R and I, and we're looking for V. So if we're looking for V, that's V equals I R. So we write that down, V equals I R. I is two amps. R is 12 ohms, and that's going to give us 24 volts. So we put 24 volts here, once again, because the units are up at the top. OK, moving on to our last one on the apprentice level here, we see 36 volts. We see 0.5 amps, and we need to get the resistance. So we check in resistance. Divide both sides by R, and so we get R equals V over I. We write that down, R equals V over I. And we plug in V is 36 volts. We divide by 1 half, which is like multiplying by the reciprocal, which is 2. So 36 times 2 
is 72 uh, ohms. Okay, so we put in 72. All right, I am not going to be going through showing how to do each of these in the next two levels. So if you have uh, issues with that, um, this is the place to learn how to use those three equations. I'll mention which equation we're using. I'm just not going to write each one down. All right, so on to the master level. Okay, so here on the master level, you see once again, there are three that I'm going to do. Um, keep in mind, we can start. Even though this is a slightly more complicated circuit, we've got two things in series. Uh, we are uh, still in series. So A, B, and C will always have the same current. And so we can go through and write that in. 2.5.5 12, 12, and as soon as we get one of the other currents, you can write it right in. But in this one, we're going to have to actually deal with the issue of equivalent resistance. Well, remember that our equation for resistance in a series circuit, this is only for a series circuit, is R equals R1 plus R2. The equivalent resistance is R1 plus R2. So here's R1, here's R2. So if we take R1, plus R2, that's going to equal REQ. Okay, so in our example we're doing here, we've got 8 plus 10. That's going to give us 18. Okay, 18 ohms. And if we use Ohm's law, we're solving for I here. We have V, and we'll use the equivalent resistance. So I equals V over R, 36 over 18. So the current is 2, okay, 2 amps. Uh, in C, row C here, uh, we see we've got 36. We don't have both resistances, but we don't have the equivalent resistance either. So we're going to be solving for R, so that we, then we're using the equation R equals V over I. So this is V, this is I, so 36 divided by 2 gives us 18. Okay, and then we have to just figure it out. So 12 plus, sorry, 12 plus something gives us 18. 12 plus 6 gives us 18. Or you could, of course, do 18 minus 12 to get 6. All right, finally, we're going to do row F down here. Okay, and you can see in this one, uh, we are going to solve for I. Okay, so we've got the voltage and we've got the total resistance. By the way, with the total resistance, we can use that and one of the resistors to get this. Let's do that first because it's a little bit easier. So 3.5 plus something gives us 9. You could do 9 minus 3.5. That gives you 5.5. And then to get our current, we're going to use the overall voltage and the overall resistance. Uh, I equals V divided by R, so 72 divided by 9 gives you 8. And remember, the current is the same everywhere in a series circuit. And so that's how you do the master level. Let's move on to the wizard level. All right, all you wizards out there, uh, we're going to do A, D, and F here. So uh, row A, we see, first of all, that we've got... Um, We've got our two resistors here, so we just add them up to get the lat next one, which is 18. Okay, and the current is also the same as the first row on the last one. We take the voltage uh, and divide by the resistance to get current. I equals V over R. 36 divided by 18 gives us 2. The current at A is 2. The current at C is 2. Notice there's no column for current at B. Just didn't have enough room for that. Instead, this one is asking for the potential, the electric potential at B. In other words, it's dropped some of its electric potential. It gained 36 coming through the battery. Okay, so here it gained 36 volts. And we're wondering how much it gains and loses in these two spots. Okay, remember we're comparing it to zero. So if we think about how we drew our electric potential, our high electric potential would be there, our low electric potential would be there, and in between would have some other amount. Okay, 
All right. Uh, let's stick with a green pen. There we go. So uh, what we want to do is we want to use Ohm's law for a portion of the circuit. We want to use Ohm's law just for this little portion here. So we don't want to use the whole voltage. We're going to find the voltage just between here. So well, what's the current here? Well, the current there is the same as it is everywhere in the circuit two because it's a series circuit. So the current is two. And to get voltage, we take uh, resistance. Let's just double check. My brain's not working right. Voltage, we get current times resistance. Of course we do. Um, that's the basic <laughs> formula. So voltage equals current times resistance. So our current is 2. The resistance of just number 2 was 10. So we got 2 times 10. So that makes the voltage at B 20. Because remember, the, the electric potential, let me do electric potential in blue. So here the electric potential is zero. Actually, I'll use the color. Here the electric potential has been pumped up to 36. And here it's going to be 20. Okay, what did we calculate? We actually calculated the difference here. Okay, and so we went from zero to 20. If we wanted to take a look at this one, we should get 16. The difference here is 16. 2 times 8 gives us 16. So the resistance of 1, 8, times the current through 1, 2, 8 times 2 is 16. So the difference between A and B is 16, 36 to 20. Okay? But if you just want to do it quickly, just go from 0. It's a little bit easier. Okay? Of course, you might not have resistor 1. You might be given a chart or that doesn't have resistor 2. It might just have resistor 1, like we'll see in F here. Let's go on to D and start working through that, since we've talked about the basic idea of electric potential over here. Um, so what do we have? We have current. So first of all, let's just get our currents written in. So if the current at C is 0.5, the current at A has to be 0.5 as well. Okay. All right. So let's go through and calculate our voltage at B. I think that's going to be our easiest thing. Well, we could calculate the total uh, resistance. Let's do that first. Total resistance. So we got a current of 0.5, a voltage of um, 36. Resistance equals voltage divided by current. So 36 divided by 0.5. That's going to give us 72. Well, if the total is 72 and one of them is 32, that means the other one has to be 40. 32 plus 40 gives us 72. Then to figure out our potential here, we want to use resistor 2 because it's a little bit easier. We're coming from 0. So we take our current through resistor 2, which is 0.5. The voltage of resistor or the resistance of resistor 2, which is uh, 40, and voltage equals current. T voltage equals current times resistance. So resistance is 40, current is 0.5, so that's going to give us 20. Okay, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 times 40. All right, our final example down here, F, we've got voltage, resistance of 1, and potential uh, at point B. Okay, so since we have the resistance here and we can figure out the potential difference here or voltage, we're going to need to do uh, one. We can't do our overall because we're missing both the current and the resistance. So we're going to have to get the current by figuring out the current through resistor one here. Okay, so in this problem, let me erase some of our old numbers here. In this problem, we know that the battery has a voltage of 72 volts. Okay, that means that at this point, the electric potential is 72. Then we can use the potential in between 48 to figure out the difference between the two. So 72 Dropping to 48 means we've dropped 24 volts. That's our voltage around this resistor. 
Okay, so 24 volts. So 24 volts and 9 ohms of resistance. Current equals voltage divided by resistance. We've got 24 divided by 9. I did not pick friendly numbers here. I think they're friendlier in the, uh, in the concept builder, but let's just go with it. So we have 24 divided by 9, which is, it's not too unfriendly. What is that? Uh, let's see, 24 divided by 9 would be 2 and 2 thirds. Okay, so we'll put uh, 2.67. Okay, and 2.67. I think the worst fractions you'll get are halves, okay, like you see here. Um, but we can still do this. So if our current is 2.67 and our total voltage is 72, and we're looking for our re total resistance, well, total resistance is uh, voltage divided by current. So that means we're going to take 72 and divide by 2, point, uh, two, two and two thirds or 2.67 and we get 27. Whoops, pen. 27 ohms of resistance. Well, if we have nine ohms in resistor one and we have to get to 27 total, that means there are 18 ohms of resistance in resistor 2. All right, as you puzzle out the rest of these rows and do the, the rows that I helped you with, with your own numbers, um, make sure you're thinking hard, learning to work that brain, grow your brain, and uh, leave any questions you have in the comments section. Uh, click that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time on the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man.